All right, so I tried making a video earlier, um, but I just had trouble trying to get it to work. So, it is midnight, a little bit past that. 12:14 uh, is a big old thunderstorm going on. Uh, it's been, I've been trying to get it, but it's been super crazy. It's raining super duper hard. I've got the radar right here. That's crazy. I love this so much. I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm, trying. I'm really, it's, it's awesome for me. I love thunderstorms. I'm crazy right now. It's like midnight, which is crazy. Here's the lightning radar. It was not raining at all earlier while I was trying to record, but it didn't work out too well. Now, it, there's so, there's like a lot of, there's not rain, but now there's like a lot of rain. But before that, there was just lots of lightning strikes really close, and now it's just raining very hard, as you can see. Let me see if I can get this thing to connect real quick. Uh, all right, here it is. We're like right where that blue dot is. You can see the rain's very heavy. I don't know if the radar is updated yet, but there's been no lightning strikes. Oh, there's one right there. That one is very cool. Let's see if we can show that on the map. It'll probably be loud. I've been really skittish kind of lately. Uh, last time I tried to do a thunderstorm update, a thunderstorm update, I wasn't very skittish. And now that it's raining, it won't like scare me too much because the rain kind of takes over the noise, especially with the deck. Usually I'm not scared of thunderstorms, I'm just kind of creeped out. I'm like, I don't know, I'm just kind of hyper. <laughs> and, uh, it's midnight, which kind of sucks, so everybody's probably going to be awake. I don't know if we can all see the rain super heavy right now. I really want to swing in it, but I'm not. Uh, it's really crazy though. Like, it feels pretty cool. Uh, in Utah, usually you can smell like, uh, usually it doesn't get humid. You usually smell like a, a, like it gets humid, but it doesn't get muggy like it does in Florida. Usually here in Utah, when it rains or before or after, it usually you smell like some little rain smell. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells good. I'm sitting down right now. Oh, there's another lightning strike. Here it is on the radar. Ooh, that one was very close. Dang, yep, that, there it was on the map. Let me see if I can get this thing to uh, update. This is awesome. This is awesome right here. I love this. Woohoo! Dang, but it's at midnight, so I hope I'm not waking anybody up. Maybe I should turn off these uh, lights right here. See if I can get gold. Better view. I'm gonna just grab my phone real quick. I want to make sure it doesn't turn off. There we go. Right, you all just y'all be able to see the lightning flashes a whole lot better now. Hopefully, and hopefully it doesn't freak me out too much. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this. So great. And I hate it. Like we don't get these type of thunderstorms very often. It's very rare. Which kind of sucks. Uh, every once in a while in the summer, not very much. I have only a few times, maybe a little bit more every year. And then it comes with stupid winter where all the snow dumps down and that's about it. Well, we don't really get a lot of snow. Usually I like it when we get a lot of snow, but not like when it like, like it lasts for a while when we like have like really cold winter, but not very much snow. I hate that. Other than that, yep. Let's see if there's any other lightning strikes going on. There's a couple over in the mountain. Let's see if I could turn the radar off real quick and see how y'all can see this better. There's another lightning strike. There's tons of them. That might be several of them. Let's see. Oh, there was one in Roy, Riverdale area. Turn off the radar. Oops. To do this is on here. There we go. All right, you can see the lightning strikes now. Yeah. By the way, I think each dot fades after every minute, so the dots on here are from a minute ago, and then usually are at least from that almost about that time, and they kind of fade. Uh, I can set it to where shows like every hour or it shows them for like the last 12 hours which is kind of ridiculous because it shows like just all these dots <laughs> from like the last hour last few hours i'm really curious if we're gonna get a power outage because this is a crazy weather i've seen thunderstorms like this where we get power outages but i doubt it let's see yeah. it says oh it says 
see, it says new, I'm trying to hit this thing, why is it not working? Come on, there we go. It says new lightning strikes have a red circle which gets smaller and disappears when it gets uh, faded away, it went away again. And I dropped my phone. That's what happens a lot with me, especially my mom. We drop our phones a lot, luckily they got good old cases. Except for the one I'm holding is with a spare. This one right here is my original phone. All right, let's see if I can work this thing again. And of course, right when I try to do there's a lightning strike. Ooh, there's three of that. That was cool. There's like three scattered throughout the whole area. There's like one in West Point, one all the way up in uh, South Willard, and one in the mountains. And there's just another one in uh, South Weave, or you went to Ogden kind of area. So that's cool, I'll let y'all look around. I'll figure out what this thing later. So as you guys can see, there's uh, the rings, and that's the sound wave coming off. And then the, the yellow dots are from about half a minute ago, and then the brown dots are from almost a minute ago, I think. And they're kind of brownish, orangish yellow. They fade away. So basically, a new lightning strike has a red circle, or the uh, new lightning strikes have red circle which gets smaller and disappears when it gets older than 60 seconds. The color or filled circles represent the age of the strikes up to 60 minutes, also no minus an hour. New strikes are yellow. The older they get, the darker the color. Dark brown is equal to almost 60 minutes. Those strikes begin to vanish soon. See, now I don't have them set for every hour, I haven't set for like every minute or two. Here's cream puff again. <laughs> every, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Every time there's a thunderstorm and I'm recording this video, this happened the other day, he came up to me. This is so funny, I love this. I'm sorry, cream puff. Here, let me see if I can show you him. Hi, cream puff. Oh, I feel bad for him. He loves to be outside, but he's just like, he comes up to me every time there's a storm, he's like, well, screw this. <laughs> Here's the lightning strikes again. So. Yeah, I think they vanish over like every two minutes. I can set them for an hour, but I don't really know if I should. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, then I'll show you. There goes one hour. Okay. Here's all of them in the last hour. Some ones with the rings on them, obviously, happened recently. So I'm, I gotta hold my phone a certain way. It's hard. And here is kind of purplish brownish or from an hour ago about that time and there's more over here in the Great Salt Lake Desert so yeah let me go to the last 24 hours and that'll be a whole different story you'll see tons of other ones not really in our area but like all over like the United States I mean, like there's a hurricane Hurricane Laura going on which is pretty pretty damaging to Louisiana and Missis uh that area. Louisiana and some of Texas and Mississippi and Alabama and Missouri and Al Arkansas, all that area. I feel bad for them. Here's the twenty four hour lightning strikes, all of them that happened in the last twenty four hours are like different colors. The purple is like like twenty four hours ago almost. So I guess it's not really a brown, but you know. I'll go to back I'll go back to the real time. I'll turn this sound on so y'all can hear. Let me try this real quick. I don't know if you saw it, but there's another one. Okay, here's the all the lightning strikes going on in the, our area right now. At least not our area, but like the country area, like a lot of North America and some of Canada, and Mexico, and Florida, and all that stuff. So. You can see each one of those flashes. You can tell it doesn't show the actual sound wave coming off. It just sh like flashes because I'm so zoomed out. It won't show the whole uh, thing. Uh, it just shows like the all the, when the lightning strike happens. So it just flashes like really fast, so you know, because you won't be able to see the sound the, the sound wave all, all from this zoomed out. But that's how many are going on right now, and it's really crazy. They're like every millisecond, like you can see. 
there's a 400, oh, at this zoom level, at least it's around 486 a minute. So yeah. I used to be able to make this thing like, sometimes I can make this thing make like ticking noises every time there's a lightning strike. It's hard to do that though. Here's a Salisbury, I think it's a Salisbury, Maryland. Yep. This kind of area. I'm zoomed in enough where you can see all the sound was going off there getting a good old thunderstorm. Let me see if I feel them. Let me see if I can turn the radar back on. Here's the radar for them. Rain's kind of dying down, so yeah. But it's still lightning strikes quite a few of them. So yep. Yeah. You probably can't see them as good because you can probably see the flash, but I don't know if the phone can see it well. It's crazy. I love when this happens. It's so rare, but lately, the last few days, we've been getting quite a few of them. I love it. Oh my goodness, there's quite a few south of us. Quite a few lightning strikes south of us. In uh, Kaysville, Farmington, in the mountains in that area. Yep, the rain's like, I'm done now, you can go outside. <laughs> but the thunder's like, don't listen to the rain. <laughs> There's another one that way. Maybe I'll start pointing at the camera that way, because they seem to be that way now. And kind of behind us, like south of us, or not south, uh, well, that direction like behind me, southeast of us, kind of on the other side of the house. I'm in the backyard again. I forgot about Queen Puffy still next to me. He's like, This sucks, man. Why can't you let me inside? And I'm like, Not right now. I don't want to get up. I'm tired. It's like 12 30 in the morning, it's 12 25. I'll probably go to bed late. And wake up late, but it's a, it's a weekend. It's basically Friday, and yeah, it's been a long day today. At least Friday is like a day where you can be like, ah, I'm done with all this. I'll relax for a few days, a couple days, and go back to school and all that stuff. I don't know if I told you, but right before I, th I was either when I started the video, right before I got a severe weather alert or a severe thunderstorm alert or something like that on my phone, because I have all these weather apps and they all went like, they all gave me an alert about severe thunderstorm warning in your area. <laughs> this is when, this is on Google. This one I'm using. I have uh, WeatherMate, which is a really really good app. This one right here. That one, I think, cost of money, but it was great. And it says we have a significant weather advisory right now. And it shows, um, see, it was issued around 12, 13 a.m. That was about maybe, uh, probably 20 minutes ago, a little more than that. We didn't get any winds, barely, so that's good, but it said winds could excess of 40 mile per hour. It could it be possible. That's, I'm glad that didn't happen because we left kind of our, our sheds open and stuff. I wasn't expecting this. This is like one of them un unexpe uh, unexpected thunderstorms. But yeah. I'm just showing that there's a big old thunderstorm coming. Some winds. And it shows the radar right here. Here's in the last six hours. All the way. The, na the neighbor's sprinklers just turned on. It shows all the way from 6.30 p.m. all the way up to now, which is 12.25. So here you go, here's, here we go, yep. And then this is like when we got our storms, so it was around 11.55, so it started coming our way. I had no idea. 
and that was all the heavy part right there, around 12 to 15, and that's when I was out here. Yep. Let me see if I can uh, show you some of my other weather apps. I got so many of them. I got AccuWeather, and uh, I don't use this one as much anymore. It's, it's a good one, but not as good to me. I don't know why. I guess it updated and it looks like this now and it just the way it was before I liked better Usually the only thing I really like about this now is on the radar Like it does have a it shows the radar all over the world, but only for like the current time Which is still cool But it also Like another thing I love about the maps is it shows like and this is kind of like a geography thing Usually m most maps don't ever do this, but I love it how it does this so and It shows like the counties when you zoom in to the state so we're in Davis County which is this one right here. I'll not explain it. it. Looks like that. And then there's Weaver County. You zoom out, it doesn't show them. You can kind of see all of them. And then it shows the states of the US. But it doesn't do this in just the US. It does this to like every country. So you go to Mexico and it shows their provinces or states or whatever they're called. If you zoom in, it will show their counties like that. So that's cool. It doesn't show the names, but it shows like their cities. I think Mexico has like 32 provinces or states or whatever. You zoom in, you can see there are counties in this state called Chihuahua. And then you can go to Canada, and they have like 10 states and 13, or three territories and 10 states, I think. Sorry, I'm having a hard time holding the phone. Let's see if I can do this. So you zoom, you zoom out, you see there, there are states down below. Uh, these ones, all that. Hopefully you can see good. And they have some over here, and you have uh, some territories up here. This one's pretty big, none of that's pretty big. North and West Territory is pretty big, or North Te I think it's called Northwest Territory, and then there's Yukon. Those are all pretty big, actually. I don't know if it shows the counties in Canada or not. I can't remember, I haven't really looked. Cause usually if I look at this, I spend my time looking at other countries that aren't Canada, because like, I've seen Canada's provinces before. I like looking at places like Russia, they have some big ones. I don't know if they're called, I don't know what they're called in Russia, probably so many different things. Uh, shows there, so it's really hard to see because you have to zoom in a lot. I mean, like if you go to the east part of it. Sorry, I'm getting there, okay. It's loading. I hate when it does that, it's like, really, come on, load. <laughs> there we go, okay. You can see them near like Moscow and stuff, there's a lot of them. But like, if you, like you go to like the west, the no, the east part of it, so I guess this is the west, I always get it mixed up. The west part of it, and then the east part of it, it's more like crappy land that's all tundra and all that stuff. And forest that really nobody can like live in good. And like there's cities there, it's so cold. There's some pretty big ones, as you can see. Big ones that I can't zoom out to show you, but they're so huge. They basically go from like, one of them called Yagas that goes like all the way like that. In China. You can see, so I don't know what they call them there, but you can see their state borders or whatever they're called. Let's see if I can zoom in. It's loading again. Oh, there we go. You can see some of them. I think they had like 30 or something. I can't remember. I counted one time. And if they haven't changed, I know they change a lot. And then you can see India's also right there. And I'm guessing if you zoom in, you'll be able to see their counties also. So, yep, you can. That's cool. That's what I love about this. I've never, like, there's nothing, there's not very many maps that do this, you know? And so I love this. Afghanistan. Not stand, stand. Afghanistan. <laughs> I used to call it Afghanistan, and I don't know why. And then Pakistan. That kind of stuff. Turkmenistan, something like that. Iraq. My mom's been there. She used to be in, like, the military, and she fought in wars there. She's like near Baghdad, somewhere around there. Um, Saudi Arabia. Egypt states are weird. But I see why, because all this is all one state. It's like all about like this desert, because not really make places to live so it's bigger. Because you know like the states are more smaller and like populated areas. Well against the Nile River they have all this, I guess it's all this population because they got all this like land that they can actually use farming for and stuff. So. 
you can see all these states just lined up all against the Nile River, like several of them. Like there's this big one, right? And then they have like, uh, this is all a state right there. And then this right here is a state, that's a state, that's a state, that's a state. There's like all these little states all along the Nile River. And then there's like one all right here on this side. And then there's several of them up here. Like, look at this. They're so cool. There's one here. Some weird looking one. Sorry. Someone like all like this. And another one here and there and there and all that stuff. You can tell they get smaller in the populated areas. And then Libya. You know, uh, Libya, whatever the heck they pronounce it as. They got some bigger ones in the desert areas up here. That's kind of smaller than all this stuff. Al Algerias are cool too. It's like all small up here and big down here in the desert. And then Mali's interesting looking. They look kind of cool. I think they don't have very much. And here is uh, what, how the heck you pronounce this country. I can't remember. I can't really see it good in this Western Sahara. I don't think it's got good ones. It's got like like three or something like that. I don't even know what they call them there. And there's Morocco, Morocco, whatever the heck they pronounce that as. Niger. Right there. This one was confusing, so like, like I was in this class, right? And so, so I was in this class and this, one of this, when the kids was like, how come there's a country in Africa that spells one of the very bad words? And I was like, it's pronounced Niger. And he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's just interesting. Interesting how, like, they're pronounced sometimes. There's Chad. And then Central African Republic. All that stuff. I like African, African country states. Because, like, they're all shaped cool looking. So, like, when I think of the U.S. compared to other countries and its states, like, look at Texas. Look at that. Look at that. What type of shape is that? Like, I try to imagine it. Like, I try to think of what the heck it is. Like, what on earth, like, makes it like that? Because, like, I, like, it's like they made that on purpose. Because, like, usually, like, every other country is, like, squiggly borders. And they're not really weird shapes. Like, some of them are, like, Mexico. They have, like, some weird ones like this one right here. Like, look at that. It looks like it has, like, little, like, let me not explain it. Um, this is, like, Texaco's, te not Texaco. Texas is a very odd shape just compared to like I can see like this bottom part like why it is because like Mexico like they make like like New Mexico and Oklahoma is shaped weird too I call this the panhandle or something so that's kind of why Texas is shaped like that but it's like Texas looks weird <laughs> yep and then there's Colorado New Mexico Arizona Utah Nevada California all that stuff Idaho is shaped pretty weird too it's just crazy how, like there's two just two states in our country Wyoming and Colorado they're just straight up boxes like they look perfect well I guess there's a couple other ones um North Dakota and South Dakota are almost exact boxes but this got a little bit of squiggles, squiggles against the river why I'm saying this I mean like I guess in the eastern part of the country I guess there's not very many there's a lot more squiggles I guess and they're lined up with rivers because people didn't uh they're, they're older and people back then didn't have like measurements and materials to measure exactly and make them exact borders because they didn't have like that type of stuff yet and so they just like did the borders against like rivers and stuff like that like for example uh I forgot, the Missouri the, whatever this was called I think it was called the Missouri the Mississippi River I don't know why I'm calling it that I usually know it's called them just tired I think it's called the Mississippi River it's something like that it'll probably say somewhere yeah. yeah, you can see, like, Louisiana's shaped pretty cool. Mississippi looks cool. Alabama looks cool. Sort of looks like a 7, I guess, or maybe like a... Um, I don't know how to explain that. I'm not gonna... Hmm. It looks like an L. I guess with the top part right, like, the top part near the ocean, crooked. It also doesn't look like... It looks like a, here's North Carolina and Tennessee and Kentucky looks pretty cool. I like how that shape is like Ohio and Indiana look like it. And then it's just really cool how they made everything. 
Massachusetts looks cool. I like to look in other countries and look for the four corners they have. And there's one in Canada, and it's against uh, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Nunavut, and uh, Northwest Territories. And I like it. It's like right here. I don't know if I put like a thing for it, but that's their four corners. And then here is our four corners are obviously Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah. And then I've seen a few areas of four corners in Mexico. I've seen about well, three corners, that doesn't count. I've seen like somewhere over here, I think it was like a four corners. They're all squiggly, so it's hard to tell. That's not one. I might have been mistaken, but I don't know for sure. Oh, well, here's, well, kind of, it's almost, not exactly, but there is almost the four corners, these two, or these four. Yeah, maybe I was wrong. I didn't get to see all the way zoomed in. I was looking at a piece of paper. So I didn't see all exactly. Because I saw it from zoomed out. But it's still close enough. It's not like exactly, but it's still pretty close. Almost. Yeah, that's almost four corners. And then. I might have. I saw something right down here, maybe. That was four corners. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, can't really get, look good right now. Oh, uh, here's Brazil. Theirs look cool. Some of South America's countries have cool states too. I haven't really looked if they have four corners or not. I don't know. Here's um Argentina. Their states look pretty cool. They're kind of down here like all boxes. Not boxes, but straight lines. And it's kind of up here and then it starts to get the squiggles. So that's cool. Chili's, I've always wondered how it is. It's like one little like line across South America. But I looked at it one time and I was like, screw this. It's just a bunch of like lines across from the ocean to the other side of the country. It's not really like, see this? Their states are pretty boring. Other than this area, that area is like the coolest part where they kind of like, like that. And then Australia's. I'm kind of disappointed because they're all they're states and territories. I guess they're mostly territories. Look, look at this. The country's almost as big as ours. And they only have like eight of them. I guess. Uh, they have Western Australia, North, North Territory, or Northern Territory, Southern Territory, Queensland, uh, New South Wales, I think is what that is. And then this one right here, I forgot what it's called. Uh, let's see here. There's a... Uh, Oh yeah, Victoria, and then Tam, Tam, can't, I can't remember which one this was either. Oh, Tasmania, or something like that. And they had one more, it was like, uh, this is like their little, uh, capital territory, so they have like eight, I think, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then that's kind of disappointing if they have a, like, a, like they have a country as big as ours, and they only have like eight s states or whatever, territories. And it's crazy that like some places like have like almost as much states as the U.S. and they're only like really small countries such as um, places like I don't know for sure like I guess Turkey's one of them. Uh, they don't have as much, but they have almost as much. Spain, I think. You know, actually, Spain doesn't have that much. But I guess I'll end this video because it's getting kind of long. But that's really all I wanted to really show you. I know Asia's got like a lot of states. It's funny how like I do these videos and I get carried away with other things. Like I, me I meant to do a thunderstorm video, which I did, but I got distracted. But here's all my other weather apps. I got Windy, all this other stuff. These are kind of interesting ones. Weather Channel, My Radar, Weather Bug, Weather Underground, or Wonderground. And I have all these other ones. Yeah, that's uh, all I'm gonna do for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to publish it tonight. Oh my gosh, that was not lightning. That was my phone when it flashes when I get a uh, weather alert. Looks like we get another one maybe. Let me see if we have any more thunderstorms coming real quick and I might see what, if there's any others I should know about. <sighs> Let's see here. Ooh, I think there's a lot more coming. The one that passed us is in the mountains now, kind of right up here. And just got getting finished with Ogden. 
So yes, I think we've got some more up here coming our way. Don't know for sure. It's a little bit breezy. It says wind gust up to 21 miles per hour. And then, yep. That's cool. All right. Well, I guess I'll be at the end of this video. I never, I think this is my longest video I've ever made on YouTube. 30 minutes. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll just kind of give you more information about these thunderstorms or anything else. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. So see ya. Good night.